Our Friend is a drama based on a true story starring Dakota Johnson, Jason Siegel, Isabella Kai Rice, Violet McGraw, and Casey Affleck, amongst others. It is directed by Gabriela Cowperthwaite. The Teak family, which features Nicole, played by Dakota Johnson, her husband Matt, played by Casey Affleck, and their two daughters, Molly and Evie, played by Isabella Kai Rice and Violet McGraw, respectively, are devastated by life changing news. I don't think you're this upset because I'm late. What's happening to mom? Matt Teak is a journalist who travels to the remote corners of the world to cover stories on war and death. But even that cannot prepare him for the news that his wife has cancer with not much time left. Can we talk for a minute, Matt? It's going to get very hard. You're going to see things from Nicole never seen before. Naturally, he needs to put his career on hold and focus on taking care of her along with his two young girls. He also doesn't expect his friend Din, who is technically Nicole's college friend, to abandon his life and move across states to be with the Teague family. Dane jeopardizes his job and his relationships to help Matt, Molly and Evie as they watch their wife and mother respectively slowly slip away. When you consider Dane's sacrifice, it's quite profound. The extent to which he goes to help his friends Nicole and Matt along with their daughters goes beyond the ordinary. It makes you wonder why is he doing this? Dane is not exactly the most successful guy. He wants to be a stand-up comedian but that doesn't seem to go too far. I thought about doing stand-up comedy. You tell jokes? It's pretty scary to come up here. I have a friend who's been wanting to try stand-up, but he's a little chicken. <laughs> he's also living with his parents in their house, something distinctively frowned upon in the West because it's perceived as a sign of immaturity and incompetence. It's often implied that Dane is suffering from depression and even suggests that he could be suicidal. But the film doesn't explore this beyond a point. It's probably a missed opportunity, especially since Jason Siegel's performance is earnest and the actor exudes compassion, so you can't help but root for Dane. Siegel is wonderful in his portrayal of the reliable friend who is generally invested in the family, irrespective of his reasons and motivations. Of course, it is implied that Dane is the central focus of the film, which is called Our Friend After All. So, while you may like to get some more insight into Dane's frame of mind, the film doesn't delve too deep in that regard. Perhaps this has to do with the story being told from Matt's perspective. Instead, Our Friend is a showcase on how friendships are fortified through tough times. The narrative goes back and forth which could take you out of the experience, but it works in two ways. First, to establish the depth of the relationship between the three leads and secondly, to balance the deep and heavy moments with some breezier, happy aspects of their relationship. Having said that, I can see how this treatment can be detrimental to your experience of the film. Irrespective of that, it doesn't take away from the lead cast's excellent performances with Casey Affleck being particularly contained as Matt, whose otherwise calm demeanor is like a ticking time bomb in the film. Dakota Johnson also captures the grief of a woman coming to terms with her mortality as she slowly succumbs to cancer invading her body and mind, but certainly not her spirit. It's often excruciating to see her condition decline and how that affects the children besides Dane and Matt. By extension, the strain it puts on their friendship and marriage respectively is also presented in a stark way. I'm going with four stars for our friend. Yes, it has some pacing issues, especially with the time jumps. And it may present a somewhat sanitized account of a person battling with cancer in her last days. But Whatever grievances you may have with the film, you can't deny the commitment of the three lead actors in their depiction of the fragmented but simultaneously unwavering love their characters have for each other. Director Gabriela Cowperthwaite allows some of the more solemn moments to truly sink in which often makes this a heavy watch. In the end, our friend has moments of genuine beauty and raw emotion that will genuinely pull at your heartstrings without being overly sentimental or sugary. Guys, thanks so much for watching this review. For more entertainment news, reviews and interviews, stay tuned to E! Now.